to talk about addiction because I think that's important um, and it's something that I think scares most of us. From running several facilities over the years, uh, what I can tell you is individuals that actually end up in inpatient treatment, about, I would say, um, the majority of them, I would say about 99.9% have had some trauma or intense violence or gross neglect. Um, and the term addiction is often misused uh, because um, many of us can overuse a substance when we're having a tough time, but it doesn't mean that we're going to be addicted. Um, through uh, running a facility here in Niagara, we did studies of people coming into inpatient treatment and it clearly showed that it was traumatic events uh, that um, was so impactful on the individual that the pain of the trauma outweighed what they were doing to their body. So, you know, as employers, it's important to think, um, is an individual um, maybe going through a tough time where maybe they're using a substance or drinking a bit more to cope and to facilitate them getting the appropriate help? Individuals that may um, demonstrate uh, that they cannot um, take on their job and may present at work are more, more likely in, a, in the stance of addiction. So it's really important as employers that we understand the misuse of a substance to cope and actual addictions. But of course, um, if you're not knowing how to intervene, it's important to um, use your, your resources like your employee assistance program um, or to, to, to look at your policy around substances with the best way to help this individual. This is Roxandra Hodge of the Authentic Connection Movement. I hope that you found this was helpful.